Jill inspired an entire generation of girls and women in the toy industry, including my wife, to dream big. Well, the toy industry in 1981, uh, like today, was very competitive, but unlike today, there were very few women in, in senior positions. Jill was extraordinary. She had to work a lot harder than the, the guys did. She had this incredible energy about her, and she was full of fun and laughter and joy, and it was just amazingly contagious. And she was really an incredible creative, a tremendous teacher that was second to none. She understood that sometimes creativity meant you had to get out, out of your comfort zone. And she had a built-in radar, so when she looked at product, she didn't just see something sitting on the table. She saw what this product could do for girls worldwide. Jill took what typically would be a girl's toy brand, turned it into an empowerment. We girls can do anything. best marketing campaign ever in the toy industry. Jill took segmentation to a much more sophisticated level of what types of play did the consumers want in their products? What did they aspire to becoming? So we had Dr. Barbie and Astronaut Barbie and Lawyer Barbie. Lawyer Barbie didn't sell. But anyway, I didn't think Barbie was mature at 200 and something million dollars. I thought it had potential to get to 500 million dollars. I never believed she could go to a billion dollars, and neither did anybody else. Jill took Barbie from being a U.S. toy brand to being a global icon through licensing, entertainment, and certainly fashion. Under her leadership, Mattel created a portfolio management strategy that diversified and segmented our brands to meet the needs of the consumer, building what is still today the strongest portfolio of brands in the toy industry. And Jill's contribution wasn't just to Mattel, it really was to American business. It was very important for Jill to give back. She co-founded with Joe Christina, Children's Affected by AIDS Foundation. It's raised over $40 million to help children. There was also the Mattel Hospital. That was, that was really a bold move for Jill to make a major contribution of $25 million. It's not just making toys, but it's really giving back and doing the right thing. Jill, I just want to tell you how much I love you. Jill, I'm very proud of you. Jill, congratulations. Jill, on behalf of the entire Mattel family, congratulations as you join the many other luminaries in the toy industry's Hall of Fame. You are so right, Brian. Congrats, Jill.